Do you know what's in an egg that's good for your brain? Everything. Hi, I'm Bernice Hunt and I am a brain health specialist. I work with women just like you who are starting to notice a few memory challenges and I help you to stay sharp so that as you age, you can still travel, have fun with your grandkids and experience new adventures without missing a beat. As a wellness coach for over 12 years, part of the job was telling people what they should and should not eat. Now, back in the 60s and 70s, many of the coaches were saying to stay away from eggs, especially egg yolks. Now, that wasn't me because that was before my time. And that's a good thing it was because I love eggs. Scrambled eggs, that's one of my go-to meals. And I remember when I was in high school, I went on a 14-day hard-boiled egg diet. Don't recommend it now for everybody, but back in the day, that's what happened. But I love eggs. Of course, when Easter came around, I didn't want any eggs, guys. I was had my feel of eggs, but that's a whole nother story. But did you catch my last video? My last video, I talked about how eggs have been misjudged. And now, almost 50 years later, they're now admitting that it is okay that have eggs and eggs are a good thing, even the yolk, as long as you don't overdo it. Today, I'm going to talk more about why eggs are so good for your brain and also decipher some of those egg carton labels for you guys. All right. Did you know that eggs have vitamin D? Mm -hmm. And guess where that vitamin D is? In the yolk. Yeah. You may want to think about eating more of those mushroom egg omelets. Mm -hmm -hmm. In fact, you're going to get double for your trouble because you're going to get the vitamin D from the mushrooms and the vitamin D from the egg yolk. But don't get that powdered stuff, y'all. Go fresh, the real thing, okay? All right, so how's vitamin D good for your brain? Okay, well, vitamin D protects your neurons and protect your nerve cells from getting damaged. That's a good thing. And it also helps prevent your mood swings, mood disorders like depression and anxiety. And it also helps prevent age-related cognitive decline. And cognitive decline, age-related, is going to be happening, but it helps prevent that and delay that. So that's one reason you should be making sure you're getting your vitamin D. And if you're not in a position to get the vitamin D from the sun, from the natural sunlight, then eggs are your insurance that you're going to get some of that vitamin D. So that's a good thing. Just like I said, don't get carried away. They're recommending like two eggs a day or seven eggs a week. Okay, so don't go crazy with it, but eggs are a good thing. Now, could you use some more vitamin B12? Well, let me tell you, if you're a senior citizen, you probably could. And also if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, you probably could because those groups are easily deficient in vitamin B12 and your brain needs that. And guess what, y'all? It's in eggs. So why is vitamin B12 so good for your brain? Well, they say that if you are deficient in vitamin B12, and you know they say the older adults, a lot of them are deficient. A lot of vegans and vegetarians can easily be deficient because you get it, you know, from animal sources. But if you're deficient, you're going to have some things that are more likely to crop up. Okay, like confusion, trouble concentrating, headaches, depression, mood changes, memory problems. Guys, that's not a good look. All right. So that's when you're deficient, you can be more prone to those kind of things. So that in itself should be enough reason for you to start eating some eggs. And I'm talking about the whole egg, the egg white and egg yolk. And then there's choline. Now choline is not actually a vitamin, but then again, vitamin D. It's not really a vitamin either, so we're not even going to go there. It's considered, it's, it hangs out with the B vitamins, and some people even call it vitamin B4. So there's choline, and choline is very good for your brain. And one thing about it is our body can make a little bit of it, but not enough, okay? So if you're going to get all that you need, you need to consider getting it from other sources. And eggs are one of the best sources of Choline. So what does choline do for your brain? Well, you know what? Let's start at the beginning. Brain development in your spinal cord. If you're a pregnant mother and you're deficient in choline, you're more prone to have some neural problems like spina bifida. So you want to make sure you're getting 
choline for your baby and for you, okay? But even apart from that, choline deals with cognitive function, especially for in kids and in older adults. So those two ranges both need, really need that choline, okay, to have better performance with their cognitive functioning, okay? So that choline is something that you really, really, really need to have and eggs are full of it, okay then? So let's not forget protein. Now, protein is important for a lot of ways and when it comes to your brain, it is still important because it builds and maintains your brain tissue, protein, yeah, for your brain tissue and not just your brain tissue, but also it helps make those Brain chemicals, mm -hmm, like serotonin, dopamine, epinephrine, those kind of things that your brain really needs, the protein is going to help get those things in order for your brain. So you do need protein. And guess what? Once again, got to tell you, there are six grams of protein in one egg. That's a lot of punch for protein, okay, guys? And no fat in the egg, no sugar in your egg, no carbohydrates in your egg. So it is very nutritious. It doesn't have all the downsides that some other foods might have. And it's only about 70 calories per egg. Why not eat that as a snack, guys? Why not eat that as a pick-me-up? It is going to do so much for you. It also means that when you eat your eggs, you are going to be pumping up that brain. So there you have it, guys, regarding AIDS. I'm going to take it just a minute and talk about those carton labels because you know on them carton labels, we be seeing all kinds of stuff on there. Some of them are meaningless and some of them are a little deceptive. Okay, so let's start with the meaningless ones. Okay, all eggs do not have trans fats. So there's no, so if you see a carton that says no trans fats, that's not really, that brand is really not giving you something that the other eggs don't give you because all eggs, there ain't no egg that has, has any trans fats, okay? If you see all eggs are gluten-free, duh, that brand is not brand-specific gluten-free. All of them are gluten-free. Natural mm -hmm, means nothing. Farm fresh. <laughs> Where did chickens come from? Where did chickens hang out? They reside on the farm. Farm fresh means nothing. They're all could be con considered farm fresh, okay? Also a good source of protein. We already talked about all eggs are a good source of protein. So if you see those kind of things on the carton, that should not be your decision maker for that brand of egg because that applies to any egg. Okay, let's talk about the little deceptive kind of things. All right, free roaming and free range. We see that a lot. Okay, free roaming. What they don't tell you is they can be roaming inside the warehouse. That don't mean they're outside roaming. They can be roaming inside. Are inside the barn. That doesn't mean they're getting, they're getting a lot of air and sunshine and eating natural food if just because it says free roaming. But it says free range. That means they have access to the outside. But that could just mean at some point they open the cage door. That doesn't mean the chickens don't go out. <laughs> it just means the door is open. And the door don't have to be open the whole time. It only has to be open like a minimum of five minutes. Open the door. Chickens are all squished up in there. Can't get out anyway, but they have free access, free range, okay? So that's a little can be a little deceptive as well. All right, so let's talk about pasteurized and pasture or pasture raised, okay? Pasteurized is just like when you have pasteurized milk. Pasteurized means it's been heated. Get rid of the stuff that, that they don't really want to stay on there, okay? It's been heated up just like pasteurizing milk. Pastured or pasture raised actually means the chickens are out there in the pasture, walking around, eating what's out there you know, having a heyday out there and they can go from pasture to pasture. They have access to natural environment. Okay, so those are the eggs that you really want to look for. Pasture raised or pastured eggs. So guys, when's the last time you took my brain quiz? You know, I got a better brain quiz for you out there. It's free. Periodically, it's really good to check and see how you're treating your brain. So you get a score and then you get a summary telling you what that score means basically. Okay. So if you're interested in checking out your brain, again, taking that quiz, you can click on the link that I'm going to leave here for you, or you can go to my website, keepyourbrainsharp.com and you'll see, you'll have access to it there. Okay. Because your brain's destiny is in your hands. Thank you.